Now, when you move in with your significant partner, which is what Twitter makes me call my girlfriend now. <laughs> That's funnier than what you guys gave it. <laughs> when you move in with your significant partner, you have to talk about what you value in an apartment. And she went first. She goes, we really need a doorman. And I go, why? She goes, for protection in case someone is trying to get us. I go, what are you into? I've been living a pretty Judeo-Christian life without many enemies on the streets. I don't know what you're into where you need protection. She goes, we just need a man to protect us. I go, well, I'm a man who could technically protect us. She goes, yeah, but you're not a doorman. And it occurred to me, she doesn't know what a doorman does because she's from rural Indiana. <laughs> the closest thing they have to a doorman in rural Indiana is a scarecrow, <laughs> which is like the doorman of the crops. I go, you understand, this is a doorman. His functions are as follows. He opens and closes the door, and sometimes he takes packages. But he's not a Navy SEAL or a ninja. He's a doorman. Here's what I don't like about New York. New York has this way of making you think you're out of your mind about completely reasonable things. It's that New York factor where they go, no, we're New York, we know we're right. And they're not. <laughs> For example, parking in my neighborhood, guys, is $500 a month. And they just act like that's just what it is. They go, this is normal, it's $500 a month. I go, is it? What's happening to my car when I leave it in your garage? Is my car enrolled in an Ivy League college? <laughs> Does my car have a vicious drug problem? <laughs> no, that's New York. I was coming off a flight at uh, John F. Kennedy Airport. It's one of our airports that we have. <laughs> and there's a guy selling sandwiches, and the sandwiches, I'm not lying to you, are this big. And I go, oh yeah, I'm starving, let me get one. And he goes, 11.25. I go, come on, dude, 11.25? He goes, it says it right on the sandwich. I go, I thought that's what time it was made. That's insane, 11.25? Just say it's 100 bucks. Just go whatever you got in your pocket, just shake me down. That's New York. So we go up to this doorman building, because it was real important to her to have a doorman. We walk up to the building, and the doorman is sitting 50 feet back from the door, watching a movie on his phone. You figure it's a doorman, he would be more involved with the door. But no, this guy is an amateur movie critic. I don't know what he's doing, but he's back far from the door watching a movie on his phone. And there's a sign on one of the doors, there's two doors, there's a sign on one of the doors that says, this is not a door. I don't have the highest IQ, guys, okay? <laughs> but I say to myself, Mike, you know what a door is. And this thing checks all the boxes. It's got a frame. It's got a handle. There's another one right next to it that looks exactly the same. And there's no sign. Mike, this is a door. You learned it in preschool. But the New York, the sign says, no, who cares what you learned in preschool? We're saying to you, this is not a door. And having an inner struggle with myself. Finally, I get my blood up, you know, and I go, Mike, you know this is a door. I'm 85% sure this is a door. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So I go to open the door. Now the doorman comes running towards the door, yelling, this is not a door. And now we're in an argument. I go, it is a door. He goes, it's not a door. He goes, can't you read the sign? I go, sir, if this is not a door, that is not a sign. 
Nothing is anything. Everything is nothing. We're having this argument in a black hole. Finally, I go, sir, if this is not a door, what is it? He goes, it's Bitcoin. I go, what's Bitcoin? He goes, well, let me explain it to you. And about five minutes into the explanation, I ran into oncoming traffic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.